hello everybody in this video session i am going to discuss about three task the first one which we are going to take to construct a stable multi vibrator using a triple five timer most of us we are aware is a very popular integrated circuit which is used for generating various uh, waveforms and for uh, timing applications and the many many applications are possible with the triple five timer ic and we are going to construct uh, a stable multi vibrator circuit which is going to have 1 kilohertz frequency by the way we can't obtain with a simple circuit equal duty cycle now to do this first we need to find out the circuit components and all and also the values of each component and i'm going to show the simulation using proteus and i just used a online calculator there are plenty of online calculators are there uh, you can just google it like triple five a stable circuit calculator okay so this also explains the basic uh, stuff of this operation and things like that now this is a circuit which we are going to construct in a proteus environment and we need to calculate the values of resistors and the capacitors these two resistors is going to control the charging and discharging time in uh, you know which happens through this capacitor via this uh, timer ic uh, by calculating these values or by entering the precise values we can get to the timing what we require for example uh, we have taken up the capacitor value as a 47 microfarad this is a quite standard value we have like 1 micro 10 micro and also we have like 22 micro and 100 micro 1000 micro 47 micro there are many standard values are there it's preferred to choose the standard values of capacitor and then the resistance value and you can see is uh, i just chosen as a 10 kilo ohm and also r2 also 10 kilo ohm when you look at the calculation here the frequency is about 1 hertz okay so if you change the capacitance value for example instead of this i have one micro capacitor also is available and you can see it's a 48 hertz okay so like this you can have a trial and error um, it's not necessary to have a trial and error there is a standard formulas are there you can also find out when you want to learn uh, through you know proper theory what's the formula for obtaining a particular frequency and also what's the formula for a on time and what's the formula for off time so you will get the overall frequency also okay uh, the main intention here is not to show off this uh, triple five timer this to focus on our uh, proteus demonstration so we'll just go back to the proteus environment now and i i will just start adding the components first i'm going to select the timer okay and we need to have a resistor and we need to have a capacitor so this a capacitor non electrolytic and electrolytic okay and let us choose the led again okay now i'm just going to place the triple five timer so you can again zoom in zoom out or in case you want to zoom only to a selected area you can use this option and then just zoom the required area alone okay so if you want to move any component which you placed just click on the component and then click and hold then you can move it along with your mouse now if you look at the standard circuit 8 and 4 will be shorted and 2 and 6 is again shorted and then the pin number 3 is output actually and we will have a resistor 
see now you want to place the resistor maybe you want to place it on you know vertically okay so you have to use this rotate signs okay so you can see how the placement of resistor will be decided based on this rotation okay so i want to place the resistor somewhere here now so i want to connect the resistor and and i want to connect to the vcc from pin number 8 to 7 there will be resistor and again there will be one more resistor from 7 to 6 and the capacitor um, i'm not sure which is a plus and minus that we will just identify and we need also one ceramic capacitor capacitor So I'm just placing the capacitor over here. And I'm just trying to connect pin number 5 to ground and these capacitors to ground. So the ground terminal you can get it from the terminals mode on this one and choose a ground and place it here. and pin number 1 need to be grounded so just complete the connections and we need to feed a 12 volt you can use either a battery or there is options available here like generator mode and there is a dc choose that and just keep it over here and connect to the dc voltage so we can feed let us say 12 volt you can refer to the data sheet of triple five timer it works in a wide range but let us choose a standard value like 12 volt okay now the values r1 r2 is 10k and the capacitance has to be 47 microfarad so let me change as a 47 micro that means just select the component and then just click on it Uh, just you click on that it will also come okay if you click once again it the component may get deleted so you have to be little careful on that and here instead of 1 nanofarad it used to be 10 nanofarad that means 0.01 micro so 10 nanofarad and we have done with the circuit now uh, just let me show you like how to simulate this one okay i just save the work and let me place the led so that visually we can see the results here resistor and uh, LED, and I'm just going to connect this one to pin number three, and over here is ground. And we already discussed for 12 volt approximately the output also will be somewhere around 12 volt. So we'll just cho choose this as a one kilo ohm. The circuit is done now. just click on play button so you can see that the led is flashing at regular interval okay now just let me show you the other option in this software like if i change it as a 1 micro we'll get 
the frequency about uh, 50 hertz okay of course the led will flash but we can't we can't visually differentiate whether the led is flashing or not okay so okay. yeah maybe in simulation it's flashing it appears like flashing but in real time you can't make it out that the led is flashing now you want to measure the frequency using a cro there is a instrument here you can see vist virtual instrument mode so click on that go to oscilloscope and just place it somewhere here and you can just connect one pin of to this before or after resistance is okay it's up to you and then just click on again simulation you can see automatically a pop-up window which shows the square waveform will appear it's a standard oscilloscope parameters as you can see there are four channels are there that means you can connect as many as four different signals here and then you can make it here like a DC or ground all these options are possible and you can see the color here it reflects to the you know the waveform and the channel and we have a time control also here okay so it's approximately now 5 milliseconds one division in x axis that means 5 10 15 20 millisecond so of course 1 divided by 20 is going to be 50 hertz approximately 50 hertz okay and also you can see uh, the voltage is in 5 volt that means each division is 5 volt okay so you can also uh, you know move the waveforms up and down that means 5 10 is about 12 volt that means whatever voltage you set that will be the amplitude here just let me change the amplitude and show you that means whatever I feed a signal here let me make it as a 9 volt and I'm just trying to simulate now yeah you can see that now is the output is about 9 volt okay so this is a very handy uh, tool that means using analog components like a uh, timer and the capacitors and the even you can see the results visually and also we can use the virtual instruments like a uh, CRO and also there are a lot of virtual instruments are there like uh, DC voltmeter ammeter and also AC voltmeter ammeter which you can measure it for you know simple circuits for advanced circuits even we have some signal generators pattern generators and we have like uh, logic analyzers which we can use it for our you know advanced circuit designs however um, some advanced components need a separate license it's based on your licensing term some components may and may not be available okay so this software is installed in our digital lab and also in our microprocessor lab so you can access to work with this software hope you understood about a simple triple five based a stable multi vibrator circuit and also you learned how to construct the circuit in Proteus environment and how to simulate and if you replace this LED and then if you replace with the relay that means you can connect even the higher uh, you know voltage or higher current loads okay so hope you enjoy this video thank you very much for watching In our next video, we'll continue with task two.